do not take away the power of the Holy Spirit from me. Because he knew that he had come. And that is the reason, oh God, that will make me not have connection with you. is because of the sin. And so he prayed and said, oh Lord, have mercy upon me and do not take away the Holy Spirit from me. I pray this morning, Father, you will not take away the Holy Spirit from us. But in this instant, you will pour the power of the Holy Spirit upon us. May you command the power of God upon us this morning, upon this media. Father, this encounter we need you, God. As you open up and as you hear one from God, come on up. We need the power of the Holy Ghost. We need the power of the Holy Ghost. We need the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Your power, your power, your energy. We need this power. We need this strength, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We hear one more today in the name of Jesus. We need the power of the Holy Ghost. 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 We need the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Oh, release your power. 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 Oh, let your power fill us this morning, Father. We need your power in the name of Jesus. As you do the power of the Holy Ghost, we shall about to move us this morning. Father, your spirit will move us. Your spirit will lead us. Your spirit will guide us. Your spirit will teach us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I wish I can remember this song. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That the Spirit of God will come upon us. Anamitama, illustration, this one of the things that causes our car to move is battery, the fuel. And see, my family said, but I me negative and positive. And especially when you go to the battery side, you will see the negative and you will see the positive. And so, glory be to God, you remove the negative. There is no way that car will move, Papa. And once you decided to add the negative, then put on your key and start your car. This morning, we cannot do anything without the power of the Holy Spirit. It is a very important thing in a believer's life. And so when David committed sin, he knew that he had committed sin. So he was so sad in his spirit, he came to God and said, Lord, have mercy upon me. Do not take away the Holy Spirit from me. This morning we are praying that God Almighty will not take away the Holy Spirit from us. But instead, may God pour his spirit upon us. Whoever that God is going to use. We pray. I remember one thing Jesus said. He said, they will bring you before the kings. And you won't even know what to say. But do not worry. The Holy Spirit will speak through you. The Holy Spirit is the one that is going to speak through us. Not by our own words. Not by our own power. Not by our own strength. And so we pray for the strength of God. We pray for the power of God. And put your upper drums. And put your all kind Bible. If it is through the power of the Holy Ghost. And the king kind Bible. Oh, your deliverance oh, is assured. And we pray this morning. That the power of the Holy Spirit will come upon us in the name of Jesus. With all humility. Let us pray that God will fill us this morning in the name of Jesus. As a matter of fact, if you have the power, do Demon is afraid of you. The Bible said, uh, if God be for us, who can be against us? Most of the time, we are afraid of demons uh, because we ourselves know that we do not have the power. Let us pray that God will fill us with his power in the name of Jesus. That you are a child of God that carry the fire of God, that carry the anointing, that carry the power of God. And so we pray in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, this morning, release the power of the Holy Ghost upon us. I pray in the name of Jesus and commit your man seven that this morning you are about to to use, oh God, 
that your fire and your, 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 your fire will kindle in him in the name of Jesus. You will strengthen him and use him mightily powerful, God, in the name of Jesus, Father. The power of the Holy Spirit will come upon him. The power of the Holy Spirit will come upon the choir. The power of the Holy Spirit will come upon every individual. The entire church will go from head to down, oh God. The power of God is coming upon us this morning, oh Lord. We prophesy and we decree and we declare that pour your spirit upon us in the name of Jesus. From on high, from on high, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Anoint us, oh God. Anoint me in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we need you. Father, without you, we cannot do anything. I remember you said this to your disciples, that without you, they can't do anything. Father, this morning, without you, there's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can say. Oh, Lord God, this morning, pour your spirit upon us. Pour your spirit from on high, oh God, upon us, upon every individual. In the name of Jesus, we need your mighty hand. We need your strength, oh God, to, to sustain us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And then Anope, we yes to them, a radi domina boy, we yes to them, a radi domina boy, we yes to them, a radi domina boy, we yes to them. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Have your way this morning, have your way. Oh, Lord, help us, Lord. We have come before you, we have come to you. Anope, we are not seeing the above, radi, we are trying the above, radi, in a chain, the uncle, in a chain, the uncle. Oh Lord, and pour your spirit upon us in the name of Jesus. And pour your spirit upon us in the name of Jesus. And use us, oh God. We need you. Baby Bira Ya Toba Hayaya Mura. It will yes to him and pay Kenya in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Revive us, oh Lord, once again through the power of the Holy Spirit, through the power of the Holy Spirit, revive us once again, O Lord, through the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, strengthen us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, strengthen your church, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, through the power of the Holy Spirit, we need you, O Lord, we need you in the name of Jesus. Yes, O Brown, Aye, wo de, o wo yeti, ti nya kupone. Yesu bra, be di, o hi. Yesu wo de, wo yeti, ti nya kupone. Yesu, yesu bra, be di, o hi. Yesu bra. Yes, so bra. I know, pay you, baby. Go ahead. I come up here. I come up here. I would, I would, I would, I would, I would, I Yes, Supra. Yes, Supra. Yes, Supra. Yes, Supra. Yes, Thank you, our God. 
We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We. Thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You love us so, Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. This morning, I just want you to open oh, your mouth, say something to God. Thank, you, Lord. Thank, thank, thank him for you. life. Thank, thank him for you, life. Jesus. Thank, thank you, you for preservation. The God who will preserve our lives. This morning, I want you to just open your thank mouth and you, say a prayer. Oh, say a thanks, thanks prayer thank unto you, our God this morning. Thank, you, thank him for his mercies. Thank him for his love. Our God has been so good unto us. This morning, I want you to open your mouth and say thank you, Lord. Thank you for your mercies, oh God. Because of his mercies, we are not dead, but we are still among the Loving. Let's thank him. Madhos ke palazi libia, lebrazo zidi mi katali abaya, alay mazuli mi katali basotaya. Father, rabados ke paladi zade me kapaya. Father, we thank you. We thank you. This morning, Father, we will come up. I'm coming before you this morning. It's just to say thank you. Coming in here this morning is to give you the thanks that belongs to you. Elohim, we praise your name this morning. We thank. Thank you, we thank you. Mercy, la brosa taliba la duza. Veleve kataliba zanda la baboza. E la brando reve sakaladiza ne me kotali babaya. Father, we thank you. Re mazuli biya. E la brando riba kotali bazandi libileya. E la brando skepa la zuli mi kotali abaya. Father, we thank you. Re masud ne me kataya. E la brando setelebe saya. E kapalu azanda ne me kotali badu. Father, Rema Zuli Mikatalia, E Palua Zanda Namakaya, Father Rema Dili Mikatali Badose, Father, we bless your name, O God, Rabos Kapaladia, E La Brandini Mesoliba Katali Badua, E Palua Palua Zanda Nemeka, E La Brenda Reboski Baladia, Father Reba Duza Nemeka Paya, E La Banda Namasuke Lebedaya, E La Brosa Daria Paya, Ali in the morning of our prayer. Praise will come before you. Early in the morning that our thanks will come before you. Elohim, we thank you. Mandelebosa. Ella Badi Mahadani Bakada. Father Raboska Palazoni Miata. Ella Brendelebosa Taliba Kappa. Father Remandelebesa Taliba Kadose. Ella Banda Makonda Liapa. Ella Banda Namasunere Mosataya. Thank you for your Raboska Palia. Thank you. Thank you for this community. 
Almighty, O oh God. We thank you, Labo Sataliaba. We thank you for the life of each and every member of this church, O oh God. Elohim, Father, we thank you for your preservation. Father, we thank you. Remoko Tolia, Ramos Zanameka Palua, Epalua Zanamaka, Ramos Zinimika Palua, Apalua Palua Palia Paya, Pandabo, Paliba Kapalua, Pandama, Padia Palia Palia Zoto di Bakaya, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. This morning we are praying, committing the check service into the hands of God. We are praying that may Jehovah God come and take control. Any works of the enemy, we are praying this morning, we are coming against it. We we'll commit the preacher, the singers, anybody that will take a mic to minister a word of exaltation, any, any way. This morning we are praying the Holy Spirit will come and take over. We come against anything of the enemy. We come against any powers of the enemy that will cover the children of God. Any heaviness, this morning we are praying that we are breaking it. We pray that Jehovah God will set his people free in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth, pray, commit the church into the church service into the hands of God that you should come and take control. Yes, it's the house of God. Sometimes we come and the spirits that come with us, we are praying. Oh, anything that anyone will carry into this service this morning that is not of God. This morning we are breaking it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Father, this morning come and take over. Come and take over. Take your seat, oh God. And this spirit that came before us, oh God, that is not of us, oh God. Father, we pray, oh God. They change your mind, they are safe. Anyone that is not want to change your mind, but come to destroy, to destroy in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against your powers in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that Jehovah come to take control, oh God. Father, come and take control, oh God. Rabba Sukela Badia, Paladia Palosaya, and Lebrenda Lebeka Palua, and Labrandoro Sataya, and Labrandi Bria Capaya, and Palabosa Ladiapa, and Rabo Sayabaya, and Baba, Heavenly Father, Rabo Capaya, we want to experience your power, your power like never before, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to experience your power like never before, oh God, you will minister to him. Rabba Sukele Besaya, Ramanda Labakoti Livliaka, La Brenda Labasunda Levoka, and the mighty name of Jesus, and the mighty name of Jesus, and the mighty name of Jesus, Father Rabba Catonia Sanda Labriana, and La Brandi Nebeka Palua Sanda Lababe, and La Brandi Nebeka Paya, and La Brandi Lebesu de Libriaka, and Jesus' mighty name, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Ezekiel 22 verse 12. Ezekiel 22 verse 12. In you are people who accept bribes to share blood. You take interest and make a profit from the poor. You extort on just gain from your neighbors and you have forgotten me, declared the sovereign God. This morning, I want us to take this one prayer point. Anybody that have taken bribe, anybody that have taken bribe, spiritual bribe, bribe to sell your blood, to sell your family's blood, to sell your children's blood. We are praying this morning. This is just one prayer we are praying this morning. And I'm putting the mic down. Anyone that have taken bribe just to make your life miserable. This morning we are praying in the mighty name of Jesus. May Jehovah God arrest them in the mighty name of Jesus. May they exchange your blood in your place in the mighty name of Jesus. Break out Father anyone that are taking bribe on this church of God, Father, to take our same blood in the mighty name of Jesus.
us. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. May your life be put in place in the mighty name of Jesus. I said to God, this morning we pray. Anyone that is taking pride on the life of each and every member in our families, oh God, in our community, oh God. Father, this morning we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. May your life, oh God, may your blood be set on our behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. Elohim, oh God, Rabba Kosa Talia Palua, Ella Branda Lava Sataya, Ella Broca Palia Pandora Sandaya. Raman de Leve Sakayan de Rebosaya, Ella Brandi Libe Catalia Balusa de Maca, Ella Branda Labasin de Leve Capaya, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you this morning for how far you have brought us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We give God all the praise this morning. Amen. I want you to join hearts with me as we worship the Lord this morning. Amen. Wherever you are, I want you to lift a word of prayer. Start thanking the Lord for everything he has done for you throughout the year. Father, Lord, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration this morning. We say you alone deserves our worship. You alone deserves our praise this morning. As we worship you, we say, come take your glory this morning. Come take your throne within us this morning. We bless your name this morning. We bless your name this morning. We thank you for all that you've done for us. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We give you all the praise, we give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Lift the word of prayer, thanking him this morning. You will all deserve Give him all the praise this morning. Give him all the praise this morning. Give him all the adoration. We thank you, Most High. We thank you, Al Shaddai. We thank you, Adonai. We thank you, Elohim. We thank you, Emmanuel. We thank you, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. You alone are worthy, Lord, to be praised and adored. You alone are worthy, Lord, to be praised.
that you've done for us. We are in the month of April, Father. You will have protected us from January, February, March to April. As long as we live, we will worship you. As long as we have breath, we will worship you. We thank you. 
for all that you've done for us. Amen. 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 to be in his presence once again. Amen. I won't enter his gate without singing in my heart.
He's going to bless us. The blessings will be poured upon us. And it depends upon us how open we are to receive it. How receptive, the receptive heart with which we came to him to receive of his blessings. I know we will not leave his presence the same. God bless us all. Amen. Let's all be attentive and listening to the flowing announcements and observe them. Our faith, our morning prayer and devotion comes off our schedule this week. That is Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, 5 to 6 a.m. on the prayer line. Let's all take note of it and join and pray. It's a time we are praying into the day. And as times are these years, you would have to have that opportunity to, to join in hands with people of one heart in the presence of God to lift up his holy name and to also intercede for the church, your family, and the world at large. May God bless you as you take note of this and join the line tomorrow, Wednesday, and then Friday. Our Tuesday Bible teaching also comes off on the Zoom platform on Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Let's all take note. It looks as if we've relaxed last Tuesday. Uh, the numbers were not encouraging. Let's take note. Let's join on time and also open our hearts up to learn from our Lord. The Wednesday triangular prayer meeting with Columbus, Virginia, and Cincinnati was also, will also come off on Wednesday, 7 8 to 8 p.m. 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. One hour prayer meeting. Let's take note of that and join as well. Coming Friday, we'll come before the presence of the Lord here as a gathering to pray unto him. Let's all take note. Friday, 6.30 p.m. to 8. We'll gather in the sanctuary here for our Friday prayer meeting. This announcement goes for all parents who will have a graduation if your child is graduating this year, uh, being at uh, university and high school, please let Minister Nanakwame know about that. Give the date and where, and any invitations are also welcome. God bless us all. Amen. Let's invite voices of faith as the minister unto the Lord. We serve our living God. He reigns. He reigns forever. Amen. 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 Amen.
Lord, I look to you. I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision to see things like you do. Lord, I look to you. You are my help to form. Give me wisdom, for you know just what to do. Oh, oh, oh. you know this. Help me say, Lord, I look to you. I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision to see this like you do. Lord, I look to you. you. 
Hallelujah. We thank God for this morning. And God bless you for coming into the presence of God. I know the Lord has something good for us. Because nobody ever met the Lord and went back the same. Hallelujah. I would like to take this opportunity and thank the senior pastor and the leadership for the opportunity given to me. I don't take it lightly to stand before God's people. Because you are precious in the sight of the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we bow our heads for a word of prayer? Lord, we've gathered under your feet to listen from you. We are not here to hear any man's voice. So, Lord, come and speak to us. We open our hearts. Lord, come and bless us. We want to have an encounter with you and make us like one of the giants of David, that we can stand up and wage the spiritual warfare for you. Lord, I take authority over every power of the enemy in Jesus' name, that your hand will be here, and we will be able to hear from you, not just hearing, but our, the eyes of our understanding will be open, that we'll be able to see you in a different light. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's turn our Bibles to Acts chapter 1. We want to read from verse, um, let's start from verse 1 to verse 8. Acts chapter 1. This was when Jesus was about to leave and this is the account that Luke wrote. In the former account, I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach, until the day in which he was taken up, after he, through the Holy Spirit, had given commandments to the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom he also presented himself alive, after his suffering by many infallible proof, being seen by them during forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You have heard from me, for John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Therefore, when they came together, they come together, they, they ask him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And he said to them, it is not for you to know the time or seasons which the Father has, has put in his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem in all Judea, in Samaria, to the ends of the world. Amen. Last week, our pastor was teaching something about disappointment. 
And when I went home, I was thinking about it, and I listened to the whole thing once again. I said, wow. When we read the account of Luke that we have here, Jesus has risen from death, and he was about to leave. And he presented himself to them. And what he said was, the kingdom of God, everything that he was saying about the kingdom is about the kingdom of God. And the kingdom is the governing influence of a king over a territory. So Jesus was talking to them about a kingdom, but they were expecting a different thing altogether. So they never understood what Jesus was saying. They were expecting something. An expectation is a strong belief that something will happen or to be the case in the future. Expectation. That means you hope that something will happen in the future. And when that thing that does not happen, then you get what? Disappointed. So disappointment is the sadness or displeasure caused by the non-fulfillment of one's hope or expectation. So they wanted Jesus to be a cool leader. He will lead them so that they will go and remove the Roman Empire so that the kingdom will come to the Israelites and they will have somebody like David as in the Old Testament. That was what they were thinking. So everything that Jesus was saying, um, the kingdom, the kingdom, that was the mind that they had. So when we come to verse 6, he said, they asked a question over there. The question was, therefore, that means they thought about this question very well. All of them said, okay, if anything, now the guy has risen from the dead. We know that now he has power. He can do anything because you are in a room. You, he won't knock. He'll be there. So the guy has power. So now this is what is going to happen. So let us ask him, when is the kingdom coming? So verse 6, it says, Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? It was a wrong question. The question, it shouldn't even come to this place. But the funny thing is, Jesus did not say that, hey, that was a wrong question, or shut up, that is not important. But Jesus started talking to them about a different thing. And that is what I want us to Concentrate on this this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus said something. He says, verse 7, Say, it is not for you to know the time or the season which the Father has said by his own authority. That means the time and the season, when, when God is going to do something, you have no control over it. When we look at the Greek language, and we look at the word time, it gives us two words. We have one called chronos, and we have one called kairos. The chronos is the time in moving from one, two, three, as watch moves. That's why we call chronology. That means something is following in a sequential manner. And when we talk of kairos, that means opportune time. When we read Luke chapter 4, verse 13, Bible says, after the devil tested Jesus and everything went, it says, now, when the devil had ended every temptation, he departed from him until an opportune time. That is also a time. So, about 90% of times that we talk in the Bible, it's about opportune time. And it is not for us to know the time or the season. The reason why they became disappointed was the fact that they were expecting something within that time. But God said, the time and the season is not in your hands. Maybe you are here. You are expecting that maybe at this time in your life, you may be married, have children or grandkids or this. That may not happen. It is not in your time. To, it is not in your will to know because you cannot control it. The Kairos and the Kronos is in the hands of God. But it is our our responsibility to make ourselves ready so that when the chronos become available, we can take opportunity of it and do what the Lord wants us to do. Hallelujah. And when Jesus rebuked them, or like, don't just say those things, he said, it is not for you to know the time or the season which the Father has said by his own authority. But he says something in addition. He says, but you will receive power. God did not give us the time to control. 
Maybe you want to go to school. You want to, you've set up your time. Because human beings, we want to set up things the way we want it. We want to run our lives the way we want it. Like everybody in life is going to be disappointed because we've set time that at the age of, if you are a woman, at least by 30 years, you should be having kids. At the age of maybe 40, at least, planning some assets and doing things. At the age of 60, planning for retirement. But sometimes, that is not in God's plan. And when we do that, it brings frustration and disappointment. But God is saying, that time is not in your hands. It is in, in his hands. And if it is in his hands, then we need to seek him for him to make that chronos time ready. Because time is what? Um, the time is chronos, and the season is kairos. So that kairos is what we need to open our eyes and pray to God that he will open our eyes to see and take advantage of it. Because if we don't, then we will miss the opportunity. Hallelujah. When you plant a corn, it takes at least four months. From when you planted to the time you are going to harvest is four months. You can't change it. You can't change it. The only thing that you can do is what? Wait. When a woman even takes a seed, it is nine months. Whether you like it or not, it's going to be nine months. You cannot speed it. You cannot fast track it. That is in the hands of God. So that's why God is saying, the time and seasons are in my hands. It says, verse 7, it says, it is not for you to know the time or season which the Father has fit in his own authority. The time and the seasons are in the hands of the Lord. You cannot control it. You cannot change it. So the moment you put your heart on it, you are going to be disappointed. And when you ask, I said, when you plant the plant, that time, the four months is going to be, the only thing that you have is the last two weeks, which is the chronos, that you need to rise up, take advantage of the harvest and do it. Otherwise, you are going to lose your, your corn. That time is what you can control. So in everything that we are doing, always we need to pray to God to, so that we can determine the season in which we are so that we can take advantage of it. Because if we don't take advantage of it, the time will slip by. Hallelujah. And in the chronos time, you become the reason. You become responsible for it. And God's purpose cannot be changed because it is his purpose. You have to work within his time. Hallelujah. In, and every kingdom citizen will come to come in confrontation with this. Abraham wanted to fast track things because he saw that God was delaying. Because when God called him, it took 25 years before Isaac came. And when it was around 24 years, he says, no, it's too much. I can't wait anymore. Then the wife suggested, and they, he went in to Hagar, and they had, what, Ishmael. And when we refuse to wait for God, we are going to give birth to Ishmael. Whenever we refuse to wait for God, we are going to give birth to Ishmael. And Ishmael will come and fight Isaac. Whether you like it or not, the Ishmael will come and fight Isaac. All the terrorists that we have in the, in the world, where are they from? They are coming from Ishmael. Because the Bible says he will be a wild man. Everybody's hands will be against him and his hand will be against everybody. Think about it. That means he was, um, Ishmael was in training in a house like Isaac. He was training in a wilderness. So he's going to be a wild man. But if Abraham had waited, because Abraham thought he would take the, the things into his own hands and help God. Please, we need to wait for God. Maybe, and sometimes too, we compare ourselves. Maybe my sister is married. He has this. My pastor has got this. I can get it. Please wait. Because sometimes, the person that you see, the person, maybe their life is shining and everything is not. When you get close to the person, please, and he starts spitting out the issues going on in that person's life, you will pack yours and run. 
Because there are issues that they will not tell you. So wait for God. And when the thing, uh, uh, Ishmael came, Ishmael came what? And he mocked what? Isaac. So if you give birth to Ishmael, Ishmael is going to mock Isaac. Hallelujah. So let us wait for God because the Kronos and the Kairos are in the hands of God. Hallelujah. Paul says something in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, chapter 1, verse 5 and 6. I want us to look at it. It says that you were enriched in everything by him in all utterance and all knowledge, even as the testimony, as the, no, it is not. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 5 and 6. It says, Paul planted and Apollos watered, but it is the God who gave the increase. Paul planted. So, Paul planted it all right. Paul couldn't control it. Apollos came and watered it. He didn't do anything. But the harvest, it was God. So, that is what we need to know about the timing of God. And we don't need to fast track things. Because Christianity is not a sprint. Christianity is not a 100 meter dash that you can run. It takes time. It takes time to know God. It takes time to know the Holy Spirit. So don't rush God. Um, let's do something from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Hebrews 12, verse 1. Hebrews 12, verse 1. I want to work within time. It says, Therefore we also... Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnare us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. So we are going on a race, and the only race that you need endurance is a marathon. So Christianity is a marathon. So if I think that, oh, now, even if God is not coming in for me, I want to rush it. Please, you are going to give birth to Ishmael. And when Ishmael comes, Ishmael comes with the baggage. Hallelujah. Let's move on. He say, when you go to verse 8, you know that the Kronos and the Kairos are not in our time. You can't control it. It is under God's authority. You can't do anything about it. But God did not leave us incapable of doing anything. He made us something. He said you will receive power. You don't have control over time. You don't have control over the, the time and the season. But God gave us something that we will receive power. It is the power. The power, we don't need the power just to go and do crusades. We need power for our daily life. Because Jesus, walking on the face of on the earth, never used power even on crusade. Anywhere, the power was at work. So if we want to lead this life, and when you look at this one, it is not the disciples who ask Jesus that they need power. He knows that on, since he is living, the elements in the world, we cannot control it. So we need power. So he said, we will receive power. So it is the must that we have to get the power. And when we read, let's read the verse 8 again. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. It says, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be my witness. When you say like, when you receive the Holy Spirit, you say you are going to, you need that power to be the witness. A witness is what you have seen, you have seen something and you are going to testify to it that this is what I've seen. So if we say we are witnesses of God and we work with God and the things that we saw Jesus doing, we cannot do it. We are not being witnesses as we should. The witnesses has to be real witness. Because if I say I am an American, then my accent has to be. But if 
like I am not American. My tongue cannot change. I can't say water. I will always say what? Water. It is not my accent. It is not part of me. But Americans will say water. Because, let me put it this way, men can see. It's going to be something weird. I can't understand it. That is how it is. So it says we need to receive power. And when we get that power, we will be his witness. You know, a prince, we say it is what? He is the son of a king. Become a prince, okay. You know, Jesus called the devil a prince. A prince is a king without a territory. That is why Jesus called the devil the prince of this world. He has no territory. So he wants us not to, or say, we, he says that we should not give him a foothold. Because when you give him the foothold, then he has a territory to rule. That's why Jesus said, the prince, he didn't say the king of the world. He said the prince of this world. So if we don't have power, then we will give him what? Authority. And when we give that to him, he's going to exploit it. And it will be our disadvantage. Hallelujah. So when you receive the power, then you can do what you are supposed to do. Otherwise, you cannot move forward. Hallelujah. I want us to pray today. Too. When we read something from, I want us to rise a little fast. When we read something from, we want to read something from Luke. We want to read something from Luke. Chapter 1. From verse um, 5. To 17, but I want to I will emphasize on the 17. It says, There was in the days of Herod, the Herod, the king of the Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the division of Abijah. His wife was daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. But they had no child because Elizabeth was barren and they were both failed. They were both well advanced in years. So it was that while he was serving as priest before God in the order of his division, according to the custom of the priesthood, his lot fell to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people was praying outside at the hour of incense. Then the angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayers is heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear a son, and you shall call his name John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will also be filled with the Holy Spirit even from his mother's womb. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. Verse 17. And he will go before him in the spirit and in the power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepare for the Lord. Keep it there. It says, he will go before him in the spirit and in what? The power. Jesus said, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes from him. When the Holy Spirit comes, he it it didn't say you are going to receive tongues. Speaking in tongues is good it is the evidence of the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life. But the speaking in tongues is not the power. John the Baptist, he was filled with what? The power and what? The Spirit. So he had all the two. But when you come to John, let's read John chapter 40. John chapter 10, sorry. Verse 40 and 41. John 10, 40. And he went away again beyond the Jordan to the place where John was baptizing at first. And there he stayed, 41. 
Then many came to him and said, John performed no signs, but all the things that John spoke about this man were true. Look at it. Bible says John the Baptist will come in the power and in the spirit of our Elijah. But when we read this one, John came and was speaking. Everything that he said about Jesus was true. But he wasn't working in the spirit of what? Elijah. Because John never did any miracles. Not even once. He received the spirit all right. John received the spirit, but he never actualized it. because He never became what God wants him to be. Because he says, the spirit and in the power of Elijah. He received the spirit, but there wasn't anything like power or a miracle coming out of John's, um, John the Baptist's life. So John had what? A disadvantage. We have also received the spirit. The evidence is the tongue that we are speaking. But where is the power? Even when my head is paining, where is the talano? I'm looking for it. When my stomach is paining, where is the spirit of Bismol? We are going to look for it. Why? Because there is no power. Think about it. If in the Bible, if we read in the Bible that Jesus was sick and the disciples went to the house to visit him, how would you feel? Think about it. Let us, hypothetically, if it is true, like Jesus was sick and all the disciples came and they were going to pray for Jesus. Seriously? No. It's going, never going to happen. But, and the Bible says, the spirit that raised that Christ from the dead, that spirit is living in us. So where is the power? So we shouldn't be satisfied. John the Baptist was satisfied. That is why. That's why he couldn't what, man, uh, like materialize his destiny well. That's why after some time, he was what? Frustrated. Because he, went, he told his disciples, go and ask Jesus, Do, are, we, so, are you the one coming? Or You have baptized the person. You've done everything. And now you are sending them to go and ask him, is he the one coming or we should expect another one? Because he didn't have what? That power. Because the power will give you control over time. Jesus had the power, because, so he had control over time. He, he could do anything that he wanted. Hallelujah. Let's read something also from Acts chapter 6. Acts chapter 6. I want to be quick because the time is moving. Acts chapter 6, verse 1. You read from verse 1 to 8. Now, in those days, when the number of disciples were multiplying, there arose a complaint against the Hebrews by the Hellenists because their widows were neglected in the daily distribution. Then the twelve summoned the multitude of the disciples and said, It is not desirable that we should leave the word of God and save tables. Therefore, brethren, seek out from among you seven men of good reputation, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. But when, but we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And the same pleased the whole multitude. And they chose Stephen. Look at Stephen, his credentials. A man full of faith and Holy Spirit. We are using Holy Philip. Stephen was what? A man full of faith and the Holy Spirit. Let's jump to verse 8. He says, Stephen, full of faith and what? That means you receive the Holy Spirit. It will come on you, but it shouldn't be the Holy Spirit. It has to generate. It has to go to power. Because when he had the power, he did what? Great wonders and signs among the people. So without that power, forget it. Forget it. It's not going to work. You can speak in all the tongues. You can have, you fail, you can worship. No. If the power is not there, no. And think about it. How many Christians, they say America is a Christian nation. Think about it. America is a Christian nation. Nobody can dispute that fact. How many Christians are in America? And how many of us has power? Because Elijah, only one person, he says, before God in whom I stand, there shall be no rain. Think about it. He says, the God whom, before whom I stand. He was standing before Ahab. He was standing before Ahab. But I say before God. That means he was standing there, but he was in some place else. I say before God whom I stand. So 
if he has that power to command the rain not to come down, we can also say that if America do not stop the gay and lesbian and those things, I'm speaking on there, I don't care. They should come and catch me. If America does not stop it, God is going to do it. That, that power, do we have it? No, that's why we can't even go out to witness. We don't have it. Sometimes we make all the noise. If the power comes, then, because Peter and others, they were just fishermen. So the Pharisees caught them and they beat them. And after some time, they said, these were uneducated common men. Where did they get this from? They said what? They had been with Jesus. That is the only difference. They didn't go to school. Peter, if you look at Peter, the, the episode of Peter, it is I mean, can, a, elementary. Everybody can read. But the things of Paul, it is very difficult sometimes to read and understand it. Because he was an intellectual. But Peter was so was down. They were fish, Peter and John, they were fishermen. That's why in the Acts chapters they said, we cannot give our, we can give only ourselves what? to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Because that is the only thing that will bring the power. But let me ask you, how many times do we read the Bible? As a Christian, sometimes our Bibles are in our car. When we are coming to church, we bring it. We take, oh, yeah, this is my Bible. We bring it to church. Immediately we bring the car. Those of us who has the zipper, we put it in and throw it at the back of the car. That's it. We won't open it until the next Sunday. And where do you think the power will come from? Hallelujah. And if we are going to last in the kingdom, it will take time. Milk with time, it goes what? Bad. When you have milk in the fridge and it takes t t time for you to eat, like drink it, it is going to what? Go still. But when you are what? You have wine. The more it stays there, the more it becomes what good. So my question is, are you milk or a wine? Because the milk will go bad with time. But wine will go will be, at, will be better with time. So which of them are you? Hallelujah. So Stephen graduated from full of faith and the Holy Ghost to full of faith and power. So, what are we also doing? As I'm bringing the message to a close, we want us, I want us to pray a little bit. Yes, look at Luke chapter 4, verse 1. Luke chapter 4, verse 1. It says, Then Jesus, being filled with the Holy Spirit, returned from Jordan and was led to the wilderness. Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit, returned from Jordan and was led to the wilderness. What was he going to do? The devil was going to test him. So it was the spirit that sent him there. The spirit, when the spirit was sending Jesus, the spirit didn't say anything about fasting. But where Jesus knew that he cannot meet the devil without fasting. So fasting is going to be one of the keys that we need in order to what? To generate that power. Because fasting will kill this flesh. If you are near there, let me tell you, food is good. But food can kill us. Food will kill us. Hallelujah. Food, if we need the power. So Jesus went there. And when you look at it, the reason why the devil could not overcome Jesus is it's not that he was the son of God. The point is, the devil was going to test him. He didn't wait for the devil to come. He went there first. Before the devil came. So by the time the, the devil came, Jesus was there ready. So the reason why we always fall is the fact that we allow things to go haywire. No, we need to get there first. We need to get ready first before the devil comes. Otherwise, we are going to have problems. And when he came, let's, verse 14. Verse 14. Verse 14. After the temptation, Luke 1, 40, he says, then Jesus returned. He went there, what? Through the Holy Spirit. Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. He returned in the power of the Spirit. And the news of him went through others. That means Jesus didn't need the media. 
He didn't need social media. He didn't need posters. He didn't know jingles on any FM. Because he was what? Ready. He was ready before. As a student, he was ready before the teacher. The devil wanted to test him, but he was there before the devil came. So if we are going to be people that God wants us to take the territory, because he says our Jerusalem, we need to take it. But taking your Jerusalem, it is not with food and drink. So sometimes we should, we should let this belly sleep a little bit. And the prayer, please let us do it because it will help us. If now that living like things are not as we want, you are making it all right. Think about it. If we are to add the prayer and fasting to be part of your life, think about how your life will move forward. Shall we be on our feet? Hallelujah. Shall we be on our feet? Because I don't want to bore you with too many words. Hallelujah. Because like Jesus, the people that he was working with, they were nobodies. But he turned them around. So this morning we are going to pray before God. That God, you did not say that we are going to receive the tongue speaking. He says, when the spirit comes on you, you shall receive power. And the evidence of it is the speaking in tongues. The spirit has come because we speak in tongues. But where is the power? Because without the power, we can't make any impact. It will only be words. It will only be words. But we need to. So let us go before God and say, God, this is your word. Let it be rare in our lives. That we receive that power. Because we need that power in order to take the territory for you. We need that power in order to make that impact in our lives. We need that power so that we'll be able to rise to the level that you want us to be. Shall we lift prayer out to God in Jesus' name? We are not here just to play like to play, Lord, and to just pray in tongues, Lord. We are here, we are here. We want to experience that resurrection power in Jesus' name. Le moro si anda breki anda breki anda bra le mama binoro na ma bro si anda bre Paul speaking to the Corinthians said I did not come with men's words or enticing words of human wisdom but I came with the power in the anointing of the Holy Ghost that is what we want to experience in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus le mama breki anda breki anda ma Lord not only in the city church Lord I oh, know the body of Christ Lord Bring us once again to that level in Jesus' name. Otherwise, we'll be disappointed and frustrated in Jesus' name. Authority is in your hands, Lord. The authority over time and the seasons are in your hands. But the power, by the power, by the power, Lord. It is us to generate that power, Lord. Give us the strength, give us the strength and divine ability that will be able to do it in Jesus' name. Le mama breki yanda breki yanda be. May we never be like John the Baptist, Lord, uh, that we will not realize the full potential of your calling, um, the things written concerning our lives, Lord. Um, because your word says, Lord, you came in the volume of the book that is written about you. Lord, the volume of good that is written about us is not this one, Lord. Because there is no power, Lord. Uh, Lord, uh, the the servants are riding on horses, Lord, and the children are trekking on the ground, Lord. This ought not to be so in Jesus' name. The world is mocking your church. The world is mocking us, Lord. Give us the grace to pay the price, Lord. Give us the grace to pay the price. Le kataya ma breki yanda be to walk in that power, walk in that power. Le mama breki yanda breki yanda be. Le mama bindoro la ba brosi ki yanda be. Le mama breki yanda breki yanda be le brolo bosaya. Le mama bindoro la ba brosi yanda breki yanda ba. Le kataya ma bindoro la ba brosi ki yanda bra. Le mama bindoro la ba brosi ki yanda ba. Le mama siki anda breki anda ba. Le mama breki ki anda bro sakaya ma. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
Lord Jesus, we thank you. We bless your name for what you have given to your kids in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you for using me as a vessel to speak to your people. I'm nothing without you, Lord. I thank you. I bless your name that this world will fall into the hearts of people, Lord. And we will have understanding, Lord. And we will be like the, the people in Berea that we will go and miss over this world so that it will have impact on our lives, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name. In the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us welcome Pastor Frank. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's continue to give it unto God. Our strength, our great. Will you help me sing it? I Let's receive it. And from today, let us continue to pray. We need to be eager for the, for the spirit and the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And I, I trust and I believe God has given it unto us. So we need to exercise it. God bless you. Elder doctor, God bless you. Let us give it unto God. Children of God, hallelujah. That is something that God has given unto us. The spirit. Nobody can take it from you. Nobody can redraw it from you. It's time to bring our tithe and offering. When the disciples were full of the Holy Spirit, when the power came upon them, whatever they had, they brought it into the house of God. They gave. If you are filled of the Holy Spirit, you don't mind of giving whatever you have to support the kingdom because it's, everything is about the kingdom the kingdom we are in the kingdom let us do our best to expand the territory of our lord jesus this morning bring your tithe and offering to the house of god so that god will continue to bless us if your tithe is here if your offering is here please be on your feet as we pray thank you jesus we honor you for your word and as we are bringing our tithe lord May your word be fulfilled that you open heavens and then you bless your church. May God bless you as you give in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we bring our tithe and offering? Our strength, our grace, our from our daddy we are still reminding ourselves this week all the um, check program activities that we've had the morning section Tuesday Bible studies Friday prayers whatever let's join let's come together in numbers and then we pray that this spirit and the power that we've heard this morning will continue to come upon your life God bless you let's be on our feet as I welcome daddy let's be on our feet Hallelujah. God bless you for coming. Um, according to our calendar, we have um, our 2024 Hope Conference. And that will be on May 24th to May 26th. 
and the, all the men are going to meet for the first time on May 4th, the first Saturday in the month of May, 10 a.m. at this sanctuary. God bless you. Amen. May this week be a week of blessing. May the Lord shower his blessing. May we begin to experience his supernatural power in our lives. May the Lord bless you and increase you. May he direct your ways and your path. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. And surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us in all the days of our life. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Before we go, look, Mr. Isaac is here today. He came all the way from Indiana. Wow. God bless you. God bless you. And Sandra went for a vacation in Mexico. And she is here this morning. Welcome. I envy you. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. The, oh, yes. That one is done deal. Yeah. She knows. And she's prepared herself to go to Ghana. I'm going to take her to Ghana. You know.